Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're checking out the Zweinitzer Stein beer. All we know about the Zweinitzer, Zwonitzer, Zweonitzer, German? I don't know. All we know about this beer is that it is from a very tiny gastropub. Just in a small East Germany pub. or something, yeah. yeah. And that's that's it. It says dark especial, so it's a dark beer. Oh, it's oh. not a dark beer. <laughs> <laughs> that's not very dark. Another trickery, just to, <laughs> just like the stout one was, right? Don't believe anything that's on this can. I'm telling you, this or pack. Any of these cans. This pack will lie to your face. Zwonitzer, 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 Stein beer, dark special product of Germany. However, you want to pronounce it. 5.6%, uh, one pint, brewed and owned by Priva, Pri, Privat Brewery H. Egriger in German, somewhere in <laughs> Germany. <laughs> Goodbye, subscribers, <laughs> for butchering German. Some German guy out there is like, it hates me. Um, okay, well, anyways, let's just go off of what we can see, smell, taste in here. Really kind of micro bubbles in this one. I know you guys can't see it, but it's very. Um, small bubbles, yeah. really tiny. I feel like this is gonna be a lager. I almost am with you on that one. I mean, um, what else would what it be? What is dark and special about this beer? I have no idea. Maybe it tastes dark. Maybe, I guess there's only one way to find out. Let's smell it first <laughs> and make sure we're in the right department. It's I've... crackery, grassy, it's Good. a really heavily grassy. I'm getting a bit of that green Just apple. A... Uh, a bit, yeah, those are like esters that come Just out during the brewer bit. process. Um, I feel like I'm getting a little pepperiness from the hops. And there's this sort of like white grape thing. Mm -hmm. That actually smells really nice. Let's just dive right into this one and, and go from there, because I don't know. Cheers. Cheers. I mean... I don't know what's dark and special about it. I, yeah, I don't get <laughs> I'm it. I'm just going to keep saying that. Based on the quality of the beer, though, I can say it's it's not bad. It's not bad. It's not bad. It's got a little bit of like this um, estery thing that you taste, mm -hmm. that you end up tasting. Um, and I don't know if that's so much because you, you taste more with your nose than your tongue, but it, I do feel like it's hanging out in the back of my throat ever so slightly. Um, other than that, yeah, really heavily grassy and hay. Just everything you smell really is what you get. It's a little crispy. Yeah, good Which carbonation like. on that. There's good carbonation in there. Feels um, refreshing. I think it's missing a lot of body though. It it has everything that like a lager beer should have, just in varying quantities. That's all. Yeah, I it's think a, it's a little like it's almost like a blend of a lager and, and like a pilsner. Yeah, a it's bit. almost it's almost cresting on that because of the, the heavily <laughs> estery nature of it and that slightly peppery thing going on. So I think it's like kind of skirting that line between the two. For sure. Um, so, but it's good. It's like a hybrid sort of, sort of ish thing. It's like passable. It's fine. It's a lager. It does its thing. It's, it's an ordinary beer, right? But it's nothing like to write home about. Yeah. Like what the second or third beer we've encountered in this box so far, that's kind of not in its style, but it's more of like a blend of two different styles. Yeah. Or yeah. two similar styles. I wonder if we're gonna see any more of those, because that's like seems to be the trend. Like even the even just the artwork leads yeah. you to believe it's gonna be something completely different, but then it's like totally nothing like that. But alright guys, that does it from us. If you like what you saw, please hit the like and subscribe buttons, and until next time, stay crafty. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.